Thank you. Thank you so much. Your Excellency, Dr. Nagolo Mbumba, Madam Mbumba, our beloved Madam Monica Kenkos, children and the Berry family, Your Excellencies, Heads of State and Government, Your Excellencies, former heads of state and government, distinguished dignitaries, distinguished leaders in your various capacities, fellow mourners, brothers and sisters. My duty this afternoon is to share with you the life, one of us, highly respected son of this country and his work and his commitment to our common humanity. Following the six national democratic elections held in 2014, His Excellency Dr. Hagen Godfrey Kenkop was sworn in in office on the 21st of March 2015, as the third president of our republic. In 2019, during the seventh National Assembly and presidential elections, President Hage Kenkop was re-elected to the second term of office. Dr. Kenkop Ken Kop was also the third president of the ruling Swapo Party of Namibia following his elections at the sixth Swapo Party Ordinary Congress in November 2017. At the seventh Ordinary Congress of the Swapo Party in 2022, President Ken Kop was re elected by acclamation as a president of the Swapo Party. As president of the Republic of Namibia from 2015 to 2024, Dr. Gainkop led Namibia during a difficult period in our history, providing steady leadership throughout an economic downturn occasioned by global commodity crisis of 2014. Severe droughts between 2014 to 2019, recorded to have been the worst in the history of our country. That, of course, included COVID-19 pandemic, which affected many sectors of the economy from 2020 to 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, Hage Godfrey Kenkop was born on the 3rd of August, 1991, 1994, sorry, 1941. I begin to wonder how I can even confuse the date, the year of my, of my, when I was born. In the district of Rothfontein, in the Shawanjipa region. Gorfi Kenkop began his schooling in Otavi in the year 1948. In 1958, he attended Augustinium Government College, where the first seats of political consciousness were planted. As a student at Akustinum College, Hage actively engaged in student activism. This led to his involvement in the strike against unfair treatment of students, the students of that time. That included many people of my generation as we gathered that particular educational institution. In 
61, he completed his teacher's training, after which he started teaching in Sumep. It was in Sumep where he started partaking in Swapo activities and officially joined Swapo Party in 1962. On the 3rd of April 1962, Dr. Genkop left Namibia, then Southwest Africa into exile, transiting through Botswana, joining other friends of fathers, particularly at that time from South Africa, from Mozambique, from Angola, and of course from Namibia here, to pursue the struggle for liberation. Dr. Genkop left Botswana for Leopoldville, now known as Kinshasa, in the DRC, the Congo, and was eventually offered a scholarship to go to the United States of America, where he enrolled at Temple University in Philadelphia. While in the United States, Dr. Gainkop was appointed as Swapo representative to the Americas, and of course serving as a chief rep representative to the United Nations. Combining his duties as a freedom fighter and a petitioner at the United Nations, Dr. Genkop obtained a BA in political science from Fordham University in New York in 1970, and later read for a master's degree in international relations at the New School for Social Research in 1970. 74. In 1997, the University of Namibia had the honor to award him an honorary doctorate of laws. He obtained, eventually he obtained a, a doctor of philosophy from Leeds University in, in the United Kingdom in 2004 was his thesis titled The State Formation in Namibia Prom Promoting Democracy and Good Governance. In 2015, Dr. Gainkop received from his alma mater, Fordham University, an honorary de degree in doctorate in humane letters. A recipient of many international awards in recognition of his exceptional leadership in different areas of human endeavor. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Gainkop is also a recipient of the Order of Joseph Marti Award for his exceptional leadership from the government of the Republic of Cuba. Following the termination of the South African Mandate of Namibia, in 1966, the United Nations assumed direct responsibility and subsequently established a nationhood program for Namibia that included the setting up of the United Nations Institute for Namibia in Lusaka, Zambia. Dr. Gainkop was assigned by SWAPO to be a member of the United Nations team as a political affairs officer. Dr. Gainkop was appointed a director of that institution in Lusaka from 1975 and he served until 1989. An institution that he established and whose core mandate was sectoral policy research and to train cadres for the future civil service of an independent Namibia. In 1989, he was chosen by the leadership of SWAPO to lead a cohort of senior SWAPO leaders and Namibians then living in exile to return to Namibia under the United Nations Security Council Resolution 435, a resolution that paved the way for free and fair elections that was conducted um, 
by the United Nations and supervised by our dear Matia Tisari. Following the successful United Nations supervised election in 1989, where he, he held the position of a director of elections of SWAPO. Dr. Kainkop was elected a chairperson of the Constituent Assembly, the party that was responsible for drafting the constitution for an independent Namibia. At the independence on the 21st of March 1990, Dr. Kainkop was appointed as our first Prime Minister, where he dismantled the apartheid administrative system in favor of inclusive public service geared towards serving the interests of all Namibians, regardless of color or place of origin, but for the sake of molding a united country. Dr. Gainkop served for 12 years in the position of Prime Minister before taking a brief break from the political scene. In 2005, Dr. Kainkop returned to active politics and served as the chief whip of the Swapo Party in the National Assembly and was a chairperson of the Parliamentary Study Committee of the Economics and Public Administration. Ladies and gentlemen, following his election in 2007 as a vice president of SWAPO, Dr. Kainkop was appointed in 2008 as a minister of trade and industry. As a minister, Dr. Kainkop spearheaded the assistance of small and medium enterprises through the equipment aid scheme, the industrial policy, and the creation of SME Bank. Dr. Gainkop was elected as a vice president of Swapo Party during November 2007 at the Swapo Party Congress. In 2012, Dr. Gainkop was re-elected as a vice president of Swapo Party, following which he was reappointed as a prime minister in 2012 until his election as a president of Namibia in November 2014. Dr. Gainkop was, along with his colleagues, was a major player in various regional, continental, and international forums. His presence and contribution was highly appreciated and left intelligible mark in the international affairs. On the regional stage, Dr. Kainkop served as the chairperson of the SATEC Organ of Politics, Defense and Security Cooperation. He was also actively involved in the work of the African Union, contributing to ensuring peace and stability across the African continent. On the stage of the United Nations, President Kainkop shared a deep understanding for its work in development, peace, and security. He was a passionate member of the African Union Committee as one of the 10 heads of state calling for reforms of the United Nations Security Council. As a president of Namibia, he played a crucial role in our engagement with the Commonwealth of Nations. A favorite defender of unity of the Namibian people. His themes are inclusivity spells harmony, exclusivity spells conflict. One Namibia, one nation, and that no one should feel left out in the Namibian House. A prominent, a prominent of the partnership in government and enhanced transparency and accountability in the public service. 
President Kenkop led the creation of the Anti-Corruption Commission as a Prime Minister in the 1990s. Very active throughout his career as a, a senior person within our government. Spare no effort in speaking out in favor of a free press and advocating the ability that we should be open to each other and politics there is always a give and take. Concerned with the acceleration of development and prosperity for the Namibian people, President Kenkop initiated the Harambe Prosperity Plan 1 and 2, where the stated objective of strengthening effective governance, architecture, the social progression of vulnerable and economic infrastructure advancement for Namibia, as well as enhancement of Namibia's standing in the international arena. Dr. Kenkop championed the creation of Namibia's Sovereign Wealth Fund to ensure sustainable development for ge generations to come. All that having in mind a peaceful Namibia, a developed Namibia, taking into account what we inherited at the time of inde independence. A divided country, divided on ethnic lines, but wanting to heal the wounds and make sure that we proceed as a united country. His Excellency, Dr. Hagen Godfrey Kenkop, is survived by his dear wife, Monica Kenkos, eight children and three grandchildren, two siblings and many nieces and nephews. Go well, my friend, the son of Namibia. We will forever miss you and will always remember you. Rest in peace.